I am delighted to address this important conference organised by EBCD and the Committee of the Regions on European Aquaculture. Unfortunately, I have been able to attend in person due to my commitments in Strasbourg this week. All participants will be well aware that today some 65% of all the seafood we consume in Europe is imported. Moreover, our wild fisheries resources are at or close to their maximum sustainable yield. We must reduce our dependence on imports by doing more to foster and promote the aquaculture industry in the European Union. It is now or never. As we begin to implement the new Common Fisheries Policy and the European Maritime and Fisheries Fund and with the recent publication of the Strategic Guidelines on Agriculture, some estimates suggest that global food production must increase by 70% by 2015 to deal with the rising global population. This coupled with the huge shifts in purchasing power to the east and to the Asia-Pacific region that will also occur. From a European perspective, food security is also about a balanced diet. To function to our full potential, we will need a balanced diet and that diet must contain seafood with its vital omega-3, long-chain fatty acids and high-grade proteins and trace elements. The only answer is to accelerate the development of the European aquaculture sector. We must farm the fish we need and we must get on with doing it right now. All of the evidence is that properly cited, responsibly managed fish farms are entirely sustainable from an environmental point of view. Not only will they provide a valuable source of seafood for our diets, but they will also create much needed employment in our vulnerable peripheral coastal communities. On a worldwide basis, aquaculture is the fastest growing food production source on the planet, and it has been growing at an average of almost 10% per annum for the last 20 years or more. We have now reached the point whereby farm fish now supplies more than half of the total seafood for human consumption. Regrettably, we're not seeing the same rate of growth in the output from within the European Union. In fact, our production, despite our technological advantage, has stagnated. Bureaucratic problems and red tape blight the industry. These problems often emanate from a national level not a European level. From a, for example, from an Irish perspective, which I am most familiar with, we have several different government departments dealing with the industry. A one-stop shop is urgently overdue. National governments must streamline their administrative and regulatory arrangements and provide appropriate financial supports as set out in the EMFF. In addition, more effective dialogue and engagement with the citizens of the EU about the benefits that sustainably practice agriculture brings to coastal and inland communities will be absolutely vital. I wish to thank you for the time and I look forward to discussing the outcome of your conference with EBCD in the coming days.